So I decided to do the yearly reenactment in Gettysburg. My name's Aaron, and this is my story. Hey, are you going to that reenactment today? We got this right here. Check it out. I'm taking all of my equipment, all of my gear, my drone, backpack, and everything. I'll be sure to take my phone too. We'll be out there, record everything. Y'all can call me if you need to. So I took all my gear, my gun, all my equipment, my cell phone, all the way to the Battle of Gettysburg. No, 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 this is all wrong here. Ooh, what a tarnation. Halt! Who goes there? Oh. Hey, Where guys. do you hail from, son? No, oh, hold on now, just wait. I'm from Gettysburg. Isn't that where y'all are from, too? Now, just hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold on. I know y'all take all this real serious and everything and get into your character, but just hold on for a second. Come with okay? us. Okay? Now, I was initially captured by the Union Army. Now, at first, when I got there, I didn't realize that this was no reenactment. I found myself in a real battle. And at that moment, when I realized it was all real, I had to escape. And I decided I'm gonna take sides and fight for the South. Oh. You're not in a uniform, and you're coming through my picket line. I'll take you up there, but if nobody back there knows you, well, I guess, unfortunately, you'll have to be hanged. He's right outside here, sir. General, now I know this is going to sound hard to believe, but I believe I can help you in this campaign. Sir, I beg your pardon, but if this man's story is true, why haven't we heard about it? Now look, I don't know how I got here, but I was initially captured by the Union Army. We work together, I can help you win with tactics that I know. And now listen, it might sound crazy, but I'm from the future. And these tactics that I know are from the modern world. Tactics that your men don't know how to use. And if they use them, they can win these battles here. By any means necessary. I got a whole battle plan for the next three days for your whole crew. Now see here, I got this here. In this fancy drone, they can see everything like an eagle. Everything above the sky, and above all your men, and even your enemy. I got this gun right here. It's quiet, they ain't gonna hear it. You're gonna take them out one by one. You'll be able to get an advantage, and get through them, through all that loud cannon fire, and all them muskets. Now I'm gonna take General Pickett here. I'm gonna teach him the tactics that I know. With this here drone, we'll have it all covered. Now, from right here, right where we're standing, we can see right from up there in the sky with this drone here. We can see everything with our advantage, everything that our enemy's doing, everything that we're doing. So what we're gonna do is, a couple of our plans, we're gonna take out a few of their generals, and we're gonna go straight to their president. So Pickett and I let's get on a ride down to the White House. And on the way, we were treated by some wolves. And the next day, we were attacked by a bear. But nothing would deter us from our mark. Here we are. Never thought I'd see a place like this. Wait for him on a morning stroll. Set out and take my mark. Alas, there he is. Quick, we gotta get back and inform General Lee. All right, boys, we did it. Dunn took out that lousy traitor. We get up onto that house, we'll take that flag down and rise ours. This will be our rally call, boys. As we all units will converge, you will be spread out in a long line, perhaps a mile, about 15,000 men. Dylan, I do believe this attack will decide the fate of our country. 
when the Yankees run away, there's going to be an open road all the way to Washington. And the battle ensued at the White House. Sure was a fierce sight for those folks. So I settled good into their culture for a little while. A woman had caught my gaze. Miss Mary Reynolds. After being there for so long with maybe six months or so, it came about time to realize that it's time for me to go home. Darling, there's something I ain't come out forthright with you. I'm from the future, and I want you to come back with me. Whether you're coming or not, I'm leaving, and I ain't coming back. So I hunted my bike down, found it right down in an old farm barn. So after Jerry rigging that bike back together, I attempted to take it right back home. Now wait a minute, I can't find the fog from last time. So, I decided to go out and try it again. I do it, my eye. Well, looks like she decided to join me after all. Hold on, baby. This might get a little longer. Now it looks like it worked after all. Darling, welcome to the future. Wait a minute. Something ain't right here. But wait, Look, what's the British doing here with the Confederates as well down here in the south? There's something sure is strange going on here. What kind of rally this is. No, 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 this is all wrong here. So Mary and I try to stick with it. She ended up with the retail job down six months down the line. But I had to make sure I couldn't run into my current self at that time. Or who knows what that could have done with the timeline. Well, looks like I am going back. Reckon I gotta fix things here. So I'm off again to set all this right. No! This can't be!